good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great day at the farm. And it is a beautiful sunny day. And as you can see, we got a pretty nice cable roof hive right here. Okay, this is a land hive. This is a forestry hive that we've had for about a year or two. And we recently modified it with a gable roof. And as you can see, it just turned out beautiful. Uh, we're very happy with this hive and we, we just love the way it turned out. And you know, we just thought, hey, it's time to move some bees into this hive. So if you take a look up here, we got a swarm that we recently captured. I think it was on April 10th. So we've let the bees sit up there for a few weeks. And what's gonna happen is, is we are gonna basically relocate them from the swarm hive and take them down to this main hive. And we're not gonna spend too much time doing this. It's gonna be, we're not gonna be clumsy about it, but we're gonna, you know, be a little hasty about it because you gotta remember when you expose bees to the outside weather, you are really stressing them out. Um, and so it's good to, if you're gonna have to expose them to get done what you gotta get done and then get them back in their home, you know, safe and sound. And so that's what we're doing today. We're just moving them down to this hot. We're gonna be looking for some brood on the comb. We're gonna be looking for maybe a little bit of nectar, uh, but it should be a great installation. We're very excited about this and we know you're gonna love this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. That's a heavy hive. Huh? <laughs> All right, so we got the bees out of the tree. Um, you know, now we're just gonna go about moving these frames in this hive. It should be pretty easy, so let's uh, get to it. All right, so lots of brood. We got nectar at the top, that's good. Once again, we got some brood. It's looking really good. Get a little smoke in there just to kind of calm everybody down a little bit. Not smoking the swarm hive or anything, just kind of getting some smoke in there. And we are seeing some nectar already, and that's good. More nectar. Some drone brood. Some regular brood. And this is a really strong colony. I can tell you that right now. Like, they are packed full of bees. It's looking really good. And the sw the swarm right now, or the colony, sounds like a car engine. Like it's just really loud and vibrant but they sound really good and i'm i'm liking the way these bees are looking right now
Wow, look at that. That's all brood right there, you see that? That is a good queen, okay? That is a really good queen. And I know I've iterated this like a hundred times in our videos. You don't have to see the queen if you're seeing really good brood like that. Like you can just do what you gotta do and move on. Cause you know she's in there. There's no way they would have brood like that if there was a problem with the queen. We got a little bit of cross comb on this, but it's not bothering anything right now. So I'm not really too worried about it. Look at that, look at that beautiful honey right there. That looks delicious. All right. Now I've got a few bees that are outside. I'm gonna kind of get them to go inside. Okay, so one thing I did forgot to mention earlier, since they do have a lot of good honey stores right now, we're gonna go ahead and add three frames to these bees. Like, just like these, so they can go ahead and get started building comb and producing some honey. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these out real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and shake off this, these bees in here, inside, and then I'll put the frames in. Crush any bees. Apparently, if you smoke them at the top. Okay. All right. Let me uh, get my brush and brush off the top. And that's all there is to it. So you take a call and beat, you take a swarm hive, put it up in a tree, catch a swarm, uh, give them a few weeks to build some comb and stuff on those, on those frames, and then just move them right down to a beautiful main hive, and they're pretty much good to go. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed that video, and until next time, we'll see you soon.